Johnny from Triad. Hey Why guys. not? Yeah, and then you can make it look like you, you know, like what your personality is and your fashion taste right? and everything and instead what, of whatever you want. what size you want. Yeah. So it works very well. You can make them out of a three quarters of a yard, which makes a 27 by 27, which is really big. I was about to say, that a whole lot of stuff. That, but you have to keep in mind that you're going to be filling this, so you don't want to make them too big. Because you have to carry them later. <laughs> you have to carry it, yeah. I like the 18 by 18, which is a half a yard. And if you buy a yard, you can make three of them. Oh, okay. So I like that. And all you do is take your 18 by 18, match of right sides together, sew all three of the sides together. First, you got to hold it inside out to sew inside it. Inside out, sew it. Once you get it sewn, then you're going to want a flat bottom. So that uh, it'll sit up when you're loading it. Okay. So you match your bottom seam and your side seam, so it's straight across. And further down, you sew it the bigger the bottom's going to be. So oh, that's okay. kind of a personal thing. On both sides, you do that. And then you fold the top down about two to three inches. I sew it down two inches if I'm just going to put a handle on it. Three inches, so it'll clear the grommets if I'm going to put a grommet. Okay. Turn it right side out, and then you're going to put handles. I, you can either sew your handle, or you can buy some strapping and put it on. And I put it about even with whatever I've made the bottom. In other words, the bottom comes out here, so I put the handle this way oh, to see. match okay. the bottom. Okay. Now... Once you've did that, you have, here's one of the big ones, you have a tote bag. Oh, nice. Nice. And yeah, a great idea, too, if like you have some extra fabric, you know, right. lying around, you're like, what am I going to do with that half yard thing? I like making it out of cotton or something washable, mm -hmm. so after you use it a few times, you can wash it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do it. I put, uh, in the bottom, you can put wood, you can put uh, foam. I like putting cardboard in the bottom of my bag to stiffen it because when it gets dirty I can throw it away oh, and have more enough. cardboard yeah. and no one sees it so no it doesn't have it, to yeah. be pretty. If you want to do grommets, the grommets are a great idea because you're all you're going to do is put a grommet down, draw the inside, cut it out including what you've drawn, put the grommet in here, clear it and Pop it on. And then and pop it on. And then it gives a little a extra grommet. strength, too. Yes. Well, what it does is it makes the handle so that, this is a big one, of course, mm. but it makes the handle where you can go one way and put it, ah. and you can put your purse in there and still, you know, have your bag and yeah. shop with yeah. two hands. Oh, I like I that. I need two hands need for two shopping. Hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going to be teaching a class on this I'm this week? Wednesday, I'm going to okay. teach a class, and I'll have two hours instead of three minutes for the <laughs> class, so I can ask all the questions. Hey, I'm, I'm okay with you having two hours and in this And it's a show. class that you're just, you're not working on it, you're just listening to me talk. So okay. you get a 50% coupon for having to do that for two hours. Awesome. And, <laughs> and also, if you want to come in this next week and say I was wearing a shamrock, you can get a 50% coupon on regular fabric. Awesome. Also. Thank you, Bonnie. Good to see you. Good, Good to, see, to you. see you. Head on down to try it. Check it out. All right, back to you, Mel. All right, thanks, Code. Well, pack your